So first thing you need to make sure and do is have the latest versions of all the software and firmware. On the Triple Play software, you're going to find that under Options, About Triple Play. Here's the latest version at the time of this video. But you can check for updates here automatically. It'll take you to the phishing website, log into your account, download the software. Once the software is updated, it'll automatically check your firmware and guide you through updating it. Same goes for the App Store and Apple. Make sure you have the latest version of Mac OS as well as the latest version of Logic Pro X. I'm on Catalina right now, and I'm using Logic Pro X 10.5.1. Once you've done that, open your Triple Play as you're going to need to get your strings calibrated to your playing, and then click and hold under the split and they have some options as to how you're going to split your guitar neck up. You're going to choose hardware synth. Then you over here double click to open it. Put the MIDI mode to mono each string on a separate MIDI channel. That's going to be, that's the key right there to get the notes going into Logic properly so you can tab out your, your notation. I have mine set to finger style. I typically put the bend range all the way down, and oftentimes I'll change the pitch bend to step, so that way it's not sensing small changes in pitch and creating weird notational things. Once you've done that, I've already got in Logic here, I already have something um, put in here, a piece of music. So as you can see, pretty busy finger style piece, ballad. And when I look here on the score, which this is currently set to the score style as Guitar Mix 2, which is a preset in Logic, you're going to want to make sure that your entire piece is one region. If it's not, select all of the regions and use Command J to join them. Then once you've done that, you can select for your region the score style. This is Guitar Mix 2, Guitar, just Tablature. And you'll see here that it has found these notes and put them on the strings at which I played them. Here's the open E on the high E string. And later in the piece, I've got the E on the second string. Now it knew that because of the Fishman Triple Play being set to mono mode it has put this string in as MIDI channel 2 and this string as MIDI channel 1. You can manually change this if you need to. So I'm going to put this on Guitar Mix 2. Now this won't defaultly work when you first do this and you're going to have to make some changes here. So you're going to have to, if you open up the staff style window, here's where you can edit all these available styles. So down here I can edit if I want to use a different tuning because if you're not using standard tuning on your guitar your tablature will not be tabbed properly. You'll have to create a tuning that for your tablature that's accurate. So you set it to what you want here but in order to make that accurate and make those changes you need to go up here to the preferences and open up the score preferences and once you're in there, you need to go to the project, the score project preferences. So here we are. And you're going to head over to the tablature tab. And you're going to need this assignment, which is defaultly on pitch, to be set to inverted channel. That's going to make it so that way when you play the high E string on your guitar, that will be channel 1 and that will correspond to the top string of the tablature. You could set it up to be the opposite and that's what Logic thinks is default. That would be the channel setting but that's not actually what we're going to use in this case. So I'm just going to put on a guitar 
that's my standard tab. I've created one here in drop D. There is no default drop D one. And you can just click and change the open strings to be whatever your tuning is. So once you've got that set properly, inverted channel, then it should come out and look right. Like for example, if I change this, So I've changed it back to pitch. You'll see here now I've got all kinds of weird things. Like why am I playing the 8th fret on the low E string and the 4th fret on the 3rd string. I probably wouldn't actually finger something that way. Inverted channel. Now it's exactly as I played it. Then there you have it. Have fun.